I'm connecting going live. Okay. Then. Live na po. Yes. Grabe ang bilis ng, ano, ng viewers. 52 agad. Yes. <laughs> Hello! Good afternoon sa lahat. Welcome to Stack League Quest Series Coding Fundamentals Quiz. I'm your host, Anne Fernie, and this is my partner. Hi, I'm Pia. And welcome. Okay, so for those of you who aren't familiar yet with what is Stack League, I'll go over on a quick rundown. Stack League... Uh, next slide, or okay. So Stack League is the Philippines' first year-round competitive programming league. From a cash prize of two hundred thousand pesos, the cash prize pool now for this year is two hundred fifty thousand pesos, and it still continues to increase. Supported by numerous companies like Job Street. Microsoft, WorkBank, AWS, Caliber, and Accenture, this pioneering programmer league aims to gather tech talents across the country to test their coding acuity with the promise of nationwide recognition. Thousands of prizes, hundreds of tech jobs, tech job opportunities, and invitation-only events. So we're also partnered by these following companies. So I've already mentioned JobStreet, Microsoft, WorkBank, AWS, and also some other partners such as Caliber, Accenture, Inquirer.net, and INQPOP. So Pia, what is Stack League Quest, by the way? Okay, so what is Stack League Quest? So Stack 
League Quest series or side challenge events for the league participants. So for our first quest, we will be having a coding fundamentals quiz. And our prizes are for our first prize, first prize will get 3,000 pesos, second prize will get 2,000 pesos, and third prize will get 1,500 pesos. And also we have consolation prizes for 500 pesos for top 4 to top 10. And okay, for now the on to league, yeah, go on for uh, <laughs> <laughs> Now on to the stack league quest mechanics. So the mechanics for the quiz that you're about to part to participate today. So first, the format of this quiz is a multiple choice. So every question you'll have 30 seconds to answer. There will be a total of 40 questions in this quiz. So for every question, you get points by answering them correctly, and you get more points if you answer faster. And at the end of the quiz, we will show the top 10, and they will receive the prizes as, men as previously mentioned. Should there ever be a tie, we have also prepared five more questions just to break the tie. And now we'll wait for everyone to get ready uh, before starting the quiz. So sit back, relax.
Okay, now we have reached the allotted time, so we're going to start the quiz in a few seconds. So as a reminder to everyone, the quiz. Oh, so first question, you have to answer as fast as possible. Okay, our first question goes this way. A process that involves recognizing and focusing on the important characteristics of a situation or object is known as?
Okay, so for our next question. The question is, in object-oriented programming, new classes can be defined by extending existing classes. This is an example of So since this is highly unusual, we'll take a break first to iron out some kinks. Okay, we'll do a restart since it's highly impossible that nobody even tried to answer the questions. So on your screen, there's a new game code, please. Go to joinmyquiz.com and enter the new game code. Uh, sorry about that. So there's there appears to be a delay. Yeah, this is the first time that we'll, we are using this quiz platform. So We will we will start in a minute at eighteen at six twenty three.
Okay. So we're going to go back to our first question. Okay. A process that involves recognizing and focusing on the important characteristics of a situation or object is known as blank. Right now, obviously, <laughs> everyone's probably gonna get this question correct. So the correct answer was, oh, sorry, I'm not able to see the whole window. Abstraction. Congratulations. All right. For the next question. This is an example of Okay, and so the correct answer was letter D, inheritance. And for me? Okay, all right, on to the next question, question number three. Object oriented inheritance models the blank. So the correct answer was, is a kind of relationship. Okay. Okay. Next question, please. The wrapping up of data and functions into a single unit is called... Wow, please. The correct answer is an encapsulation. Hey, let's go to the next question. In Java, declaring a class abstract is useful for what? Mm 
so far our scores, our top scores are still pretty close. And we can see, oh, the answer was when it doesn't make sense to have objects of that class. And you can see the answer. This question was really hard. Only 11 people got it correct. Okay, next question. For number six. A package is a collection of... So the correct answer is classes and interfaces. All right, next question. Given a class named teacher, which of the following is a valid constructor declaration for the class? course well they're still pretty close and the correct answer was the first one teacher followed by teacher t and close with parenthesis followed by curly braces okay for our question number eight which of the following is not a valid class specifier Let's check the leaderboard. Okay, the correct answer is pointer. All right, on to question number nine. Nine. Easy question. OOP stands for what? Choices are object to object programming, object oriented programming, online objects programming, and last, object oriented processes. Oh, one hasn't answered yet. Come on, come on, catch up, catch up. Right. Has there been a significant change in the leaderboard? Mm, not much. And the correct answer was object-oriented programming. Okay, question number 10. In a class, data members are also called as
Let's check the leaderboard. Mm. And the correct answer was attributes. On to question number 11. An index is a pair of elements comprising key and a file pointer or record number, a file in which, indi in which indicate indices are located at is known as what file? Index file, sort file, key file, or none of the above? I think this was a hard question. For... Christopher Ooh. is still Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, hard question. The correct answer was index file. All right, question number 12. OK. A data structure whose elements form a sequence is known as. Go, go, go. The correct answer was letter C, linear data structures. Okay, on to lucky number 13. <laughs> Which of the following statements about a binary tree is not correct? Every binary tree has at least one node. Every non-empty tree has exactly one root node. Every node has at most two children, or every non root node has exactly one parent. Hey, has there been, is there any change on the leaderboard yet? Nope, Christopher. Still on top. Yeah. Wow, hard wow. question. Every binary <laughs> tree has at least one node was the correct answer. Okay, number, question number 14. Which of the following data structure is used to represent hierarchical relationship among its elements? Q, Hands up. Christopher is still on top. And the correct answer was letter C, three. Right, yo, let's go to number 15. A data item that can be used to distinguish between two entities or records is known as what? Is it alternate key? Primary key, primary data item, or unique data item. Okay, 
Okay. Now we can see the leaderboard seems to settle on a few names up there. The correct answer was letter B, primary key. Okay, question number 16. What is the worst case time for serial search finding a single item in an array? A. Quadratic time B. Linear time C. Logarithmic time or D. Constant time And the correct answer was letter D, constant time. Wow, that was a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> Only five got it correct. Number 17, let's go. Each attribute of an entity has a defined set of values. This set of values is called a what? Mapping, entity set, domain, or range. Yeah, I can feel the questions are getting more difficult and more difficult as the quiz goes on. I can feel that the leader leaderboard might still say stay the same. Oh, oh yeah, around number five. The correct answer was letter C, domain. Okay, next question. A linear list in which elements can be added or removed at either end is known as A. Circular cube B. Priority cube C. Cube D. Dick cube Seconds, six seconds. Mm -hmm. Let's check the leaderboard. Oh, oh. All right. Lot of changes there. Mm -hmm. And the correct answer was letter D. Thank you. Okay. Okay, number 19. Program statements that cause jumps are called as blank statements or structures. Is it assignment, increment, decrement, or control? Are we going to see a similar outcome in the leaderboard? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Wow. Ooh. Crazy Ooh. Super really yeah. maintained. <laughs> yeah. Crazy race, so crazy hard. race. Hmm. <laughs> the correct answer was control. Question number 20. Which of the following statements marks the end of the function and also transfers control to the statement after call statement? A. Stop. B. Continue. C. Break. A, or D. Return. Nine seconds. We have a new top one, and the correct answer yeah, but... was 
Yes, and Fernie? Uh, I'll continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the correct answer was letter D. Yeah, they're really? tightly packed on the on, on top one. Like, the difference, I think, was only around 100 points. Okay, let's go to the next question, number 21. <laughs> A loop embedded within another loop is called a what? Continue, loop, nested, or break. Still a difference of around 100, and most most of you guys got it correct. The correct answer was nested loop. Question number 22. Which of the following data structures is more appropriate to represent a field? A. Two-dimensional array. B. Doubly linked list C linear array D or D linked list. Okay, and the correct answer was letter C, linear array. That question was also very difficult. On to number 23. A graph is a tree if and only if the graph is a directed graph, contains no cycles, planar, or completely connected. was contains no cycles question number 24 which of the following operations is not supported by q inserting element at prayer b removing element from front c Removing element from middle or D, none of the above. Seven still have Irvin in top one. And the correct answer was letter C, removing element from middle. Hey, Christmas day, number 25. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next question. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we're see we seem to be having some technical difficulties. Would you please wait a moment? Let's wait. <laughs> Congratulations, N1. It's like sixty second place. Okay, nice. Okay, we are back. Okay, okay. Let's go back to the 25th question. Okay, which of the following cannot be an entity? Book, student, employee, or roll number? Maintaining the lead with around 300 points. The correct answer was roll number. Okay, question number 26. Which of the following is not a type of algorithm? A program, B, 
flow chart C the session table or D through the code. Have a new top one, Miss Shane, and the correct answer was program letter A. Wow, I can feel the participants are engaged in this heated battle. Number That's twenty-seven. Cool. Which of the following is not a type of variable? Char, integer, boolean. Or fraction. Oh, four participants did not answer in time. Shane still, Shane remains on top, and the correct answer was D, fraction. Okay, next question, please. A list of steps to finish a task. A, sequence, B, input, C, algorithm, or D, code. Five more participants. All right. Times up. Nothing changed in the leaderboard, and the correct answer was algorithm. Okay, question number 29. It is an algorithm that has been coded into something that can't be run by a machine. What is it? Debugging, iterating, program, or a function? And the correct answer was, oh, sorry, oh, oh, significant changes from fourth place and up. And the correct answer was program. Question number 30. Many program of instructions that reduce the difficulty of writing programs. Function, B, code, C, algorithm, or D, box. All right, time's up. The correct answer was letter A, function. Hey, our last 10 questions of the quiz. Still not sure who's going to win this. Statements that only run under certain conditions. Is it output, input, conditional, or debugging? I wonder who is going to walk away with 
3,000 pesos in their pocket. Okay. Oh, five people have not answered. Sana try na lang kayo mag-guess, di ba? <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh, and the correct answer was conditional. Oh, nobody got the wrong answer. Wow. wow. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. Yeah, okay. Next question. Number 32. Our race starts with index of the list. Letter A, 0, 1, 2, or 3. Time's up. Wow, okay, the correct answer was zero. Again, nobody got the wrong answer. Wow. Number 33. A placeholder or value for a piece of information that can change. Variable, function, event, or input. I believe the five people who have not answered yet might be disconnected. Maybe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Time is up. Let's see. Shane and Joshua are battling it out on first place. 40 point difference. And the correct answer was variable. Okay. Next question. We have... An extra piece of information passed to a function to customize it for a specific need. A. Sequence. B. Code. C. Parameter. Or D. Debugging. 12 seconds. Right, time's up. And oh, forty points, but in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the correct answer was parameter. Okay. On to our last six questions of the quiz, number thirty-five. The symbol that represents comments in a flowchart is a procedure symbol, annotation symbol, flow line, or subroutine. board Ooh, Shane won't let Joshua have <laughs> his way oh only seven people got the correct answer the correct answer was flow line wow okay number 36 In a flow chart, the symbol that represents a condition based on which a decision should be made is A. A. Procedure. B. Annotation. C. Decision. Or D. Stab routine. Oh, 
So Joshua is now the top one. And the correct answer was decision. Pero Pia, tay sila. Oh. oh. Top one. <laughs> Number 37. Which symbol on a flowchart is used to represent the connection between the portions of a flowchart on separate pages? Is it off page connector, on page connector, annotation, or a flow line? the type for person taste is going to change. Yes, it does. Joshua coming out on top. And the correct answer was off-page connector. Okay. Number 38. Okay. 38. Which of the following statements is false? Okay, letter A. The flowchart should be clear, precise, and easy to follow. B. The input, process, output, and display symbols should have only one flow line. C. In a flow chart, all the necessary inputs should be listed out in a logical order. Or D. The start and stop symbol should have only a single flow line. Random question. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Okay, we now have a Irvin in top two. Okay, so the correct answer was letter D. The input, process, output, and display symbol should have only one flow line. Okay, second to the last question. Dito na natin malalaman. Who are the fast leaders? Which of the following statements is true? A. Pseudocode helps in understanding the logic better when compared to flowcharts. The flowcharts do not act as a guide during the program development phase. Flowcharts are a better method of communicating logic than pseudocode and decision tables. And lastly, Flowcharts are a better technique to use in case of complex conditions compared to decision tables. Oh, haba ng question. Yep. <laughs> oh, is Joshua going to be able to maintain his lead? Let's see. And the correct answer was letter C. Flowcharts are a better method of communicating logic than pseudocode and decision tables. Okay, for our last question, number 40. The accept keyword in a pseudocode is similar to the blank symbol in a flowchart. A. Output. B. Start. C, input, or D, Wow. Okay, the correct answer was letter C, input. And that does it. Yeah. That was the last question of the quiz. Wow. So our top Give yourself three. a pat on the back, guys. Yay. Everyone did a good job. Yeah. Yay. Congratulations. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, so we have
Oh. Oh yeah, now now it's sorted. Great. Okay. So congratulations to Joshua for coming out on first. I wonder who's in second. Uh, Irvin Nino Pelonio. And lastly, third place goes to Christian Paulo Adriano. Wow. Congratulations. 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 And for the top four to ten, you also get consolation prizes. Okay, so um, I think StackTrack would contact you for these prizes. They'll just send it over to you guys. Uh, if ever they won't be able, you can also contact them by emailing StackTrack. Yeah, or, or, or under their Facebook page. Oh, okay. That yeah, so that's it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us at the Stack League Quest. So if you know someone who should be part of the league, please invite them to register now at stackleague.com. So see you at the next Stack League event. Okay. See you guys. Congratulations to the winners. Yes. Good job. Bye. Bye-bye. Round two daw, sabi ni John Lester. Yes, thank you, Steve Dins, Steven.